Canadians, Americans, members of the Commonwealth, and patriots the world over. Welcome to the show that tells you what they won't. Exposing the fake news, conspiracies, and corruption with institutions that govern our lives, and red-pilling the nations one fact at a time. It's Weathering the Storm with your host, Canada's Red Pill, Billy Joyce. Good evening, folks, and welcome to another show. Uh, before I get started, I'd just like to say a big thank you to people who have donated to PayPal uh, in recent days. Rachel A., Elaine B., Randall M., and Isabella R., as well as Sandy S., and Christopher J. I uh, thank you very, very much. I also thank Andre J., uh, who sent an Interact e-transfer, and I'd also like to thank Cliff H., However, Cliff, um, you asked me as my security question what the name of my show was. I thought it was Weathering the Storm. Now, I don't know if there was a misspelling there. Uh, if, <laughs> if anyone wants to donate to e-transfer, a really simple question is what country do you live in? Capital C, Canada. Canada. Um, it, it's not really, no one can really access it, so it doesn't have to be a tough question. Um, the, the simpler the better. So right now I can't access that donation Cliff H. Uh, however, I appreciate uh, the gesture the gesture enormously. It's very humbling to receive uh, donations. It kind of puts an onus on me as well to try to uh, produce quality videos three or four times a week at least. Um, I'm going to be on vacation for a couple of weeks over Christmas, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do more YouTube videos. I'm gonna take vacation and do work i suppose it's not really work because it's 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 more citizen journalism and i like what i do i just wish i could do it more often and you never know maybe full time so that being said i know i've spoken a lot about q i know there are q doubters out there i know there are q haters out there i know that there are blind q supporters out there i know there are people out there who believe everything q throws at us and then there are people like me who are kind of believing the disinformation is necessary therefore you can't necessarily believe anything at face value therefore you have to dig into it a little bit um recently there's been a story that came out and i've done some digging i haven't been able to find anything on this prior to this past year and the first time i heard tell of it uh was from q um there's a lot of stuff that's been presented to us our entire lives as being one way when in reality it was another way or it was presented to us as being good when in reality it was bad and or it was bad we knew it was bad but we didn't realize that it was maybe downright evil and case in point playboy playboy bunnies you hefner the that lifestyle that the whole almost putting him on a pedestal and bill cosby and how are the two related and what does it have anything to do with QAnon or q or whatever you want to call them or them or them it i don't know Still don't know what Q is, still don't know who Q is, still don't know if everything Q says can be taken to the bank. But I will say this, last year in November, on November 20th, post 158, and I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, I'm going to go to a section here that I find very interesting. What if Hugh Hefner was a clown in America? What is a honeypot? Define blackmail. How could this be applied? Fantasyland. Who has all of the information? No such agency. The hunter becomes the hunted. Operations underway. Operators active. Disinformation is real. Disinformation is necessary. Silent war. Some gets out. The Great Awakening, Iron Eagle, Godfather 3, etc. Um, when you see this, what is what if you Hefner was a clown in America? That stands for CIA. That's the 8chan talk for CIA or Q talk for CIA. What is a honeypot? It's a network that can uh, entrap people. It's a network where information is shared and people pe people use honeypots to pretty much entrap people. 
So let's say you have videos, uh, those videos are up uploaded to a network, there's someone that keeps track of that network, he creates this honeypot where they can use all this information to blackmail people. How could this be applied? I kind of just, I kind of just um, explained it to you, but uh, it could extend to celebrities, politicians, etc., etc., etc. Fantasyland, who has all the information? No such agency. Now, Fantasyland that could apply to Playboy, uh, the Playboy Mansion, that could apply to Disney, that could apply to all kinds of different, um, even even Hollywood, th th that whole scene, New York. Uh, <laughs> We've been living in a fantasy land and don't really realize it. Uh, who has all the information? No such agency. The NSA, the National Security Agency. Uh, that's who General Flynn was the director of before he got into trouble. The hunter becomes the hunted. Operations underway. So that's post 158. I'm going to go to post 160 where uh, Q told us, now remember, 20th of November, 2017. And I remember reading reading through this and thinking, hmm, uh, that's kind of far-fetched. But you guys are missing the importance of Hugh Hefner. Think of it this way. You invites over celebs, politicians. You offers them something younger. You offers them a safe space to do it in. You tapes encounter, sends tape to CIA, CIA as person by the balls for life. This is a majorly important, this is majorly important to what has been keeping people in control for so long. It's called extortion. Now recently we found out that there's a Florida lawyer claiming to have uncovered U Hefner uh, sorted celebrity sex tapes filled <laughs> filmed at the star-studded Playboy Mansion parties and will reveal them as part of a civil case against shame comedian Bill Cosby. The Daily Mail is reporting on this. So Florida-based attorney Spencer Coven has uncovered hundreds of hours of tape. Mr. Coven represents Chloe Goines, 28, who alleges, who alleges Cosby attacked her in 2008. Miss Goines, who was 18 at the time, claims the comedian drugged and sexually assaulted her. And then in Canada, the only people reporting on it, it seems, is the Toronto Sun. And of course, if you listen to the mainstream media in in Canada, and really, I, I didn't check CNN. I'm not sure if CNN's covering this. I'm not sure if CNN's covering it or not. Uh, but this, uh, I should go check that out. But heck, why not? Let's go. Let's go do this live. Let's go. Let's go see what CNN is reporting on Bill Cosby. I'm sure I could do a search on CNN, and surely if, if, there you go, let's search. Lawyer, Cosby, Playboy. Do a search for those. Where, who are Cosby's accusers? Judge says prosecution go forward. Hmm. Date. Nothing, nothing from CNN. So yeah, it looks like, uh, I mean, the Daily Mail in the UK is covering it. The Toronto Sun in Canada is covering it. Um, Coven is saying uh, in this article, it says, Coven said the tapes were handed over by Playboy Enterprises and appeared to have been professionally edited and produced. So I'm guessing someone at Playboy probably dubbed all of these videos before you uh, Hefner, because there are other articles, you go look, there are other articles claiming that Hefner got rid of them, they were dumped at, in, at sea, but it appears that there were copies made of these tapes, and now they're in the hands of this lawyer. And this lawyer, um, if you read through this Toronto Sun article, I read through it earlier, and uh, this lawyer says that he went through, uh, he went through the videotapes, uh, and it, it includes hundreds of hours, and He's saying he has uncovered a treasure trove of recordings involving dozens of high-profile celebrities at the hedonistic flesh fests. <laughs> 
The CBC News, when you do a search there for Bill Cosby, Playboy Mansion, they're all old stories. There's nothing about this. Search results on CTV News, same thing. There's nothing really... They're not really... They're not covering this particular story. Global News says he's being sued. I didn't go read the articles, but there's nothing as recent as what this is, which is only four days ago. Uh, no, not even. Uh, yeah, three days ago, on the 16th. And you can be sure that there's nobody connecting the dots to Q who, over a year ago, was telling us that this Hefner and all these tapes exist and could be used for blackmail. They're certainly not, because Q's the one that made me aware that you Hefner was even videotaping people, high profile people. And if you go to uh, Q and you do a search, I did a search for CS. CS is a reference to Chuck Schumer. Now, we, we see Chuck Schumer on television every day with his glasses on the tip of his nose and speaking in a very, a very controlled manner and very emotional and pulling on people's heartstrings and using very, very long um, academic sentences and words and just filling the minds of the sheeple with BS. Well, I think Schumer, uh, Schumer strikes me as the um, sleazy type. And Q in post 389 last year, well, look at that, anniversary today, the 19th of December. He says, Chuck Schumer Soros, Chuck Schumer Playboy, Chuck Schumer Heidi Fleiss, Heidi Fleiss, evil, clown, blackmail, Q. So was Chuck Schumer compromised by these people? Or was he an active participant in this and then willingly and happily went along with the deep state cabal? I don't know. Is it possible? I mean, when, when I do a search for CS on the cue boards, he's... Um, He's caught up in a lot of stuff like the Spygate Russia hoax. Um, here you see him and Nancy Pelosi having back and forths. Mueller going after inside plants and cheating Obama. Uh, here you're looking at uh, no direct investigation into Chuck Schumer. I think this is Chuck Schumer. It could be someone else. But the CS is that we've all agreed is, is Chuck Schumer. But the one that I really find suspicious is this one here. C.S. Soros, C.S. Playboy, C.S. Heidi Fleiss. And if Bill Cosby was videotaped at the Playboy Mansion, possibly drugging an 18-year-old and sexually assaulting her, I wonder how many celebrities and how many politicians have visited the Playboy Mansion thinking that they were going there privately, thinking that they were going there to have a good time with good old Hef. And then waking up the next morning and finding out that they were photographed or videotaped with someone very, very young. And then I wonder if, if this deep state really exists, what you could get someone like that to do. Maybe sell uranium to Russia? Maybe a big deal to Iran? Maybe, um, I don't know, carry out a terrorist attack or false flag attacks on your own soil to push certain agendas. There's all kinds of things that they could do, I guess. But I'll leave it up to your imagination. If anything you can take away from this is that although I may not believe Q 100%, I have to say that I have to take him seriously or take them seriously 100% of the time because you just never know what he might be feeding you. That's true. And then it's our duty to go dig it. And remember, future proves past. So here we are almost a year, over a year later, and we're looking at Q drops from November 17th on or November 20th, 2017, on December 19th, 2018, and the things that Q was insinuating back then 
we are finding out now are absolute, absolute truths. Speaking of absolute truths, after you're done watching uh, this video, I would suggest that you go take a look at Amazing Polly's last video. It's entitled, It's the Cartels, Useful Idiots. And she does a fantastic job of demonstrating how uh, the Canada that we're living in and the Western world in general is being led down a road of what some may call communism, some may call fascism, and it seems a little hard to distinguish. And it's done right under our noses. And I invite you to go watch her take on it because she explains it a heck of a lot better than I ever could. On that note, I'm done now. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to take a look at other videos you find on this page. Don't forget, if you like it, push the subscribe button under this video and feel free to like and share with all your friends. Follow me on Twitter by following the link on this page. If you want to interact, feel free to post a comment, but please, no obscenities. Thanks for watching. Billy Joyce signing off and reminding you that I'm here to help you weather the storm.